Hello friends this is Uma and welcome to the Turmeric Club Today we will be making the Indian rice pudding that is called kheer For this I need 8 cups of whole milk half a cup of basmati rice half a cup of sugar 1/4 cup of coconut flakes uh 2 tablespoons of golden raisins and 1/4 cup of almonds 5 green cardamoms and 1 teaspoon of fennel seeds So I'm going to take a crock pot and in this crock pot I'm going to add all the milk I'm also going to wash the rice and going to add to this crock pot So the total cooking time for the rice pudding is 8 hours but I'm going to cook it initially for 6 hours. So you do not have to supervise it once you put the rice, cover it and let it cook for 6 hours on its own on medium high heat. So if you want to leave it overnight, you can do that too. In the morning when you wake up, you will have nice smell and nice aroma in your kitchen and your kheer will be almost ready so after 6 hours you can see that the color has changed a little bit so it is a little bit pinkish color and you can see the consistency the rice looks like it is all mixed very well with the milk Now we are going to add the sugar. Chopped almonds. Coconut flakes. And I'm going to mix it very well. Right now the consistency looks very thin but we still have to cook for 2 more hours. Now in a mortar and pestle I am going to uh, remove the skin for uh, the green cardamoms and I am going to crush it with the fennel seeds. This will give a very distinct flavor to the kheer. I hope you will like this flavor too. After adding um the fennel seeds and the ca- green cardamoms I'm going to let it cook for 2 more hours. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so far while the kheer is cooking. So this is the perfect time to take care of that. So 8 hours have passed and the kheer is completely ready now. The texture has thickened a little bit. and now we are going to cool it a little bit so once it cools down then we are going to add the golden raisins if we add the golden raisins earlier then there is a chance that the milk will curdle so we have to bring the temperature a little bit down before we do that so the kheer has come out really good We have added the raisins. Now you can have this kheer hot or you can refrigerate it and then eat it cold. I hope you like this recipe. I will be back with a lot of recipes very soon. Love you all. Take care.